All right, I just want to show how I got this engine running off a of micro squirt and uh, the harness I made for it. I just got uh, the injectors and coil packs wired together first. Each injector bank only has one input, so this entire bank will fire at once. And uh, this other bank, of course, will fire at the, the next time, and that's a uh, batch fire mode. Kind of going backwards from the sequential fuel injection, but for racing and stuff like that, it works great. Cuts down a lot of wires. Uh, for coils, it uses a wasted spark mode, so you know, you only have four inputs for all your coils, so two for each side. And it uses a wasted spark type of setup. Again, a very simple. Cuts down on wiring, and uh, about the cost of the micro squirt, it's about 350 bucks and all your connectors you might have another fifty to hundred dollars especially if you get a junk harness from a junkyard and uh, just cut that in and splice it up Yeah, uh, actually cheaper than getting an aftermarket harness made and again the, the wiring is a lot less the computer it's about ten times smaller than the size of a credit card so that works out nice and the sensors you need, you need a coolant temp sensor, um, TPS, and the idle, I'm sorry, this is a IAT sensor underneath this intake, can't really see it. IAC you will no longer use. The micro squirt does not control the IAC. It runs just fine without it, but you need to make sure this valve, this plunger, is not all the way in it'll bypass too much air and won't idle at all. So there's a way to set these where it's all the way in and uh, it'll idle just fine after that. Then uh, to adjust your idle, you just go kind of old school, you know, adjust the screw, set your idle the way you want it, and you'll calibrate your TPS. So that's pretty simple. Uh, my micro squirt can also control your fans. So uh, right now I just got one extra option with that so I can control the, the the fans with one input that's it so I have both fans coming on once it hits 190 and uh, we're going side and show you the computer setup of things alright so here's a software you'll be using it's called Tuner Studio it's free but you can upgrade it to a, kind of like a pro series where it gives you more uh, tuning options. Uh, kind of a self-tuning setup if you have a wideband installed. And uh, that's another cost. You really need to have a wideband. I got it down here. And that will do the self-tuning. makes things a lot easier. And uh, I'll go ahead and start it up.